Kaz and Niku sneak on to Fusoda Station in order to steal a vital component for the Colossus. Meanwhile, Tim and Ruckman are set on a supply run to their very same station. I'm John Barry and welcome to my review of Star Wars Resistance Season 2 Episode 11. Before I get that much farther into my review, if you find yourself enjoying it at any time, please be sure to leave a like. And if you find yourself not enjoying it, well, the dislike button is right next to the like button. So, the episode itself. Well, the station that Kazaniku sneak onto, well, it's the same design as the Colossus. And that's why they're at that station, because they need to steal a component that will allow the, the shielding that protects the occupants from solar radiation and other forms of radiation you will find in space. Otherwise, no. Nope. Everyone will get radiation poisoning and sickness and die. Not a good thing, a very vital component. And so they sneak on board to get it. And of course, Tim and Rockland, well, they're on the station as on a supply run. So I still don't know how they did that because they came over in a TIE fighter and came back in. And TIE fighters really don't have that much room for supplies, so... I don't know what was going on there. I'm going to chalk that up to maybe animation mistake or it's just a, a small oversight that nobody picked up on. Regardless what it is, they're over there. And they and Tam starts, thinks she spots Cass, but she doesn't know for sure so she just ignores it and go on. Of course she did and Cass knew for sure that he saw Tam and Ruckton and of course we recognize that they would identify him. And of course they don't know that Tam has some conflicted feelings about joining the First Order, which we see on full display in this episode. It's clear. She even opens the blast doors at one point so Kaz and Nico can get away. She says she can't believe she's doing this. But that does show there's hope for She can go back to the closet. She can. She just needs to. I, for a little bit, I thought, would that happen in this episode? No. But they are clearly showing that it is a distinct possibility. I still don't know about where Rockland's on all of this. You know, he in a way does remind me of um, Malfoy from Harry Potter. <laughs> don't know why I paused there, but yeah. He does remind me of that character. So that, that makes me think that if Rockland does decide that the First Order isn't for him. Because at the beginning he, do, he is complaining about not flying. So that shows he's not 100% happy with being the First Order, and they're both shown not to be brainwashed minions of the First Order like all the other members of the First Order, which I do find interesting. It's probably partially so Tim has somebody she can interact with that's not a superior. I understand the why, but it does make you think that he, they're treating him differently as well. What to come of that, who knows. But um, maybe he'll do something like, like like Malfoy did in like Draco Malfoy did in Harry Potter and you know, turn at the last possible moment. Maybe not joining the resistance, but abandoning the first order. I'm just drawing because I see character parallels there, so I'm just drawing an inference from that. But let me know what you saw of that random thought line. But Rogan was the one. He spots Kaz and Niku, and he reports them to security. Because if it wasn't for Tam's action, they probably would have been apprehended at least once, maybe twice. But yeah. So, and of course, Rockland is thinking that he'll get a promotion for all this. Kaz and Inker escape, he won't get that promotion. If anything, he'll get reprimanded for it. And there's, of course, other things taking place in this episode. Um, Agent, uh, not Agent, um, Captain Pyro is on, or is it Commander Pyro, is on the, that station as well, the Titan I believe is called, Titan Colossus. I'm not seeing a naming convention there, but let's get talking about Pyro. He's there and the minute he clearly sees Kaz, he recognizes Kaz and exclaims, Kazuta is the owner. Like, he recognizes it. And actually there's one scene where, where Kaz is trying to hide from Pyro, Pyro doesn't recognize him. Probably because he doesn't see the face, only the profile. And of course, General Hux is there as well. And of course, General Hux, yeah. 
I think it's confirmed now. He's no military leader. He's just a showboating bastard. And he is a bastard child, believe it or not. <laughs> Read the aftermath trilogy, if you will. But yeah. He, like, literally, just get the resistance killed, get the Colossus destroyed, I don't care what. No tactical minds on how to think about anything. But Pyre, Agent Tyranny, yeah, they have tactical minds, they, they, they see the bigger picture and the smaller picture. They know how to actually, you know, run an operation. And I just explain, you know, newsworthy things that people can clap to. I'm just saying, General Hawks. Yeah, he's not a good military leader, as we can see. Just mottos and broad directives. That may not prove to be the benefit. Like, the, we knew in this episode that the first order is clearly trying to acquire refueling stations. But because Kaz, because of this incident with Kaz, General Hux orders the Colossus to be destroyed. Well, okay, it might be easier for them to destroy the Colossus to stop as a resistance cell, but that's one less refueling station for them to use. Post tragedy. May make good sense maybe in the tactical short run, but in the strategic long run, I'm not so sure. And actually we do see this a fair amount with the Empire as well, as well. Seeing as the Battle Hoth. Sure, they may have won a tactical victory, but the Rebellion had more of the strategic victory. They accomplished their goal of a delaying action so they could successfully evacuate Echo Base. What is the, the Empire's objectives? When I mean, they attempted to crush the rebellion there, and they only succeeded in driving the rebellion off half. They had a tactical victory, but the long term strategic victory eluded them because they failed. The same thing I think is happening with the first order here. The, 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 they may have some immediate tactics down, but the longer picture they're not seen. Of course, I could be totally wrong here. I'm no tactical or strategic genius myself. Even though I do like playing st strategic strategy games, doesn't make me an expert in that department. But yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on the episode. I did think it was a pretty good episode overall. Um, could there have been done some more? Yeah, I would have loved an actual interaction between Tam and Kaz. But I can understand why they're doing that, not doing that, or didn't do it. Because I suspect they want to save that for when Tam rejoins the Colossus. And, and there's a true heart hard discussion where everyone, f where everyone says what they did wrong, asks for forgiveness, and hopefully receives forgiveness. Again, I hope Rockland's part of that, only because I like the pillows I'm seeing with the Draco Malfoy character in Harry Potter, and I would love for that to carry through. Um, but there's no guarantee that's going to happen as well. But yeah, it also does make me wonder, what's going to happen to Agent Tyranny and Pyro when they fail to capture the Colossus? We know, I know that's going to happen. What's going to happen to them? The First Order won't like it. But yeah, those are just my thoughts on this episode. What are yours? The comment section is down below. Hopefully. Who knows? We're getting close to January 1st. Copa New Oh, the new rule to implement Copa by the FTC will come into effect. And who knows how that will affect my videos. I think the mixed audience exception should apply to all my videos. But who knows if the FTC will agree with this or not. But I'm going to have an update video about that closer to the end of the year. This is just a brief preview of my thoughts on that. But yeah, let's just jump to the end and please be sure to subscribe to my channel because I will still be doing content. Um, I also have my social medias and my discords and my Patreon linked in the description. So go please consider checking that out. Additionally, that's all I have for you actually. Besides, check out the videos or playlists that will be appearing on screen shortly. And as always, have a good day, a good night, wherever you are. May the force be with you, always.